Hey friends, happy Tuesday. So today is my 23rd birthday and my hubby is at work. We celebrated all my birthday fun yesterday when he was off. We did a lot of really fun things. I really was wanting to vlog it, but I totally just wanted to be in the moment and not thinking about picking up a camera. But we went to Trader Joe's, picked up some flowers, got some coffee, got sushi for lunch. Um, hey! Got cheesecake. It was just a really fun day of things I really love doing. And I'll show you the flowers later when we get back. We're getting ready to run some errands. Noble is in his car seat. It is 22 degrees outside, so it is really chilly. And we went to the Airman's Attic this morning, got up early, and got ready to go, and then went over there. I do have a sack of a couple uh, things that I found, a couple stuff for the new baby, sleepers, that I'll show you later. And then I got Noble this book, the touch and feel ones. He loves these. I'm going to give this to him so he'll, he'll stay happy. It's a book. Um, he loves the touch and feel. He thinks he giggles every time he touches like the texture part. So, um, yeah, that's what we got going today. Uh, I found a really cute cardigan at the Airman's Attic. It looked brand new. So I better probably put the camera down and get going on the road. Uh, I wanted to stop at Starbucks because on your birthday you get a free drink. So I wanted to do that and then we need to go to Target because I need to pick up a bottle, like a spray bottle because Noble accidentally knocked my thieves cleaner glass spray bottle off the counter when I was holding him and it shattered. Thankfully, thankfully I was holding him whenever it fell on the floor. But uh, I was really bummed about that because it was my amber glass spray bottle. Um, so I need to find a new spray bottle because I'll have to show you my makeshift spray right now. <laughs> it's hilarious. I just like put water and thieves in a glass and then put the, I saw the spray nozzle because it's plastic, it didn't break. And I just put it in there and I just hold the glass and I spray the spray. It's really silly. So anyway, um, hopefully I have enough battery life. I really meant to charge this last night, but I totally forgot. So we're gonna go Starbucks and Target and then head back here, eat lunch, put Noble down for a nap. And I'm just gonna kind of take you throughout my day. So I will see you soon. Okay guys, we just got to Target. I don't know if you guys can see that. Noel is passed out asleep in his car seat and I'm like, I feel so bad waking him up to go inside because I know he's not gonna transition to the cart very well. Um, I need to uh, get the, this is his little backpack we carry for him now instead of a top, I mean, instead of a diaper bag. It's just this Skip Hop little baby toddler backpack. Um, but I use these thieves wipes to like keep in this bag to wipe down tables at restaurants or high chairs or grocery carts because I don't use like a um, like those padded things you stick in carts or anything like that because it's too much of a hassle um, but around this winter time I don't like the germs because I don't want him to like expose him to anything <sighs> too gross so I like to use these and uh, I am a distributor for Young Living, and I'll leave my link down below if you guys are interested in learning more. And I do have an oily Instagram account that I share more about oils and toxin-free living. And these are chemical-free and toxin-free, but they do a great job of like um, disinfecting in a way uh, because there's thieves essential oil in it, and that's supposed to be really good for fighting stuff like that. So I'm gonna get one of these. I'm right by the carts. That's a tip if you're a new mom or you're about to be, have a baby always park by the grocery carts because it makes it easier on you and you don't have to carry your baby all the way up to the store or go find a grocery cart it's just like right there you can pop your baby in so I'm gonna do that wipe it down real quick I do have a blanket with him and so I think I'll just like wrap him in that and then give him a snack so he's like content because <laughs> I hate it when he cries in the cart it makes me really sad because he just wants mama to hold him especially after he's woken up from a nap so I'm gonna do that real quick, get that. See you in a second. What do you think? Yeah. 
Hey guys, we just got out of Target and Noble, <laughs> I bring snacks. Usually uh, like some sort of little snack for him if he gets fussy towards the end and that helps a lot. Um, so we're headed to Starbucks. My sister got me a Starbucks gift card for my birthday and so I have a birthday reward also and I got a breakfast sandwich and like a venti iced caramel macchiato and I already ordered it so I'm gonna go pick that up real quick and then we're gonna head home. <laughs> because Noble really needs a nap. I can't sit it there. And lunch, so. Thank you, have a great day. Thanks, you too. Okay guys, we're back. I just made Noble some lunch. Taylor meal prepped a bunch of food last night. And this is like perfect for Noble to eat. Just some rice and veggies and some chicken. Which I need to pull his sleeves up real fast it's hard to do this one-handed <laughs> noble's probably like what are you doing mom <laughs> okay oh, we're back my feet hurt for some reason i don't know if my shoes I'm doing something weird or what give the dog some food he's eating I'm drink some coffee and i can show you guys everything i got today and at Target, which is always fun. Do a haul. Okay, so let me show you real quick the flowers. So these are the flowers I got at Trader Joe's. Let's give a better view. Some like, like peach pink roses, these are beautiful. Some really pretty greenery and then some like really deep purple violet, I mean not violets, um, snapdragons. And so I just have them in the vase because I need to put them in my other vases and just kind of distribute those. And then this was the book that I got today at the Airman's Attic. He loves these. He thinks they're so fun. This one's in really good condition. So he's eating his lunch before nap time. And then I just kind of threw everything on the floor right here. <laughs> So you like ran in. It's always like difficult for me to bring everything inside and then get noble and do all that. So he's right over there eating, but I ripped the bag too. <laughs> so let me show you real quick. Everything I got was for baby boy. I got um, this sleeper. It's Cloud Island three to six months. And it's just like this mint color. It was in pretty good condition and it has these little hand things. So I was like, that's perfect. And then I got another one that was like matching. I guess it was like a set. And so, uh, yeah. So two of those, three to six months. Let me move this chair out of the way so I can see Noble. Yeah, let me get you some more food. You're almost out, huh? Say yummy. There, now I can see him. Gatsby always likes to clean out his little high chair. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got was this. I thought this was really cute. It's a onesie, but it has like a shirt on top. And so it looks like a shirt, but it's a onesie. And then this is nine months, so the baby could wear this in the fall time next, or this year, or winter time, whatever. I just thought that was really cute. And then, I found these. These are the Aiden and Anai brand. And these are two like drool bib type things. I thought they were so cute. Planes and just little geometric shapes. These are in really good condition, no stain. It's kind of a theme of color I've got going. <laughs> Didn't even plan that. Um, let's see. I also, let me show you this last. But then I found three brand new long sleeve onesies that are six to nine months and these are white and I love these for like layering under clothes and so these will fit baby in the fall and winter and they're just brand new no stains and so I was like those are perfect and then for myself I found this really adorable cardigan and it's like brand new I thought it was so super cute. 
don't know if you guys can see that very well. And then this is the brand, the Beigey collection. I'm not sure what, it cut me off there. I had to delete some footage. So yeah, this is adorable. I think this would be great to wear pregnant. And then I also found this breastfeeding cover that looked really cute. I need to unwrap it real quick. That is so cute. I love the print. I don't know if it's focusing. There it goes. Is it focusing? There it is. And it's in really good condition. It's not stained. It doesn't look like it's been used hardly at all. And it's a, I don't know if that's a Target brand or what, but I was telling my husband, I was like, I really want a new breastfeeding cover because the one I use with Noble is very used. <laughs> I've worn it out. And so this one looks really cute. I'll probably buy a brand new one because I like to have a couple on hand, especially if baby spits up, then you can just wipe it, everything up with it. And so then your covers get dirty pretty quickly and they smell like rotten breast milk. So <laughs> it's always good to have more on hand. So I thought this was really cute for summer. Loved that. And then everything we got at Target, I found some really great things. I only spent $22. I hardly go in Target. Um, if I don't need anything, I don't go to Target. Like I don't go there just to browse or anything like that because I know I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm the type of person like, we are pretty far into our minimalist journey to where like shopping is rare for us. If we have like Christmas money, birthday money, that sort of thing, then we do go shopping. This is really bright, hang on just a second. There we go. Um, but we just don't find ourselves like going shopping just to go shopping for like retail therapy kind of stuff. And I think it's taken us time to get to that point. Noble is going number two right now. He's really working on it. So you hear grunting, that's what that is. Um, but it's fun to um, go and get things you need whenever, but today was a need thing. Well, and a fun thing. There was one fun thing. Um, but I just got a couple things that we needed. <laughs> Poor little guy. I'm gonna have a diaper to change soon. Okay, let me get a couple sips of coffee. It's really good. Okay, everything we got at Target. The first thing, let me show you. These were on clearance. These are Burt's Bees and they're size 12 month for $7, y'all. Noble's been needing more onesies and he has um, um, a couple long sleeve onesies, but I'm excited to see if these are gonna fit because he's not quite into 18 month onesies because the arms are like really long and everything. And I just love Burt's Bees stuff and I was really excited to find these on clearance. Let me actually undo this and see what these look like. I really hope these are gonna fit you guys and not be too short because I bought some onesies that were Carter's and they were way too short and he's been using them but they just fit kind of small. Oh, these aren't bad. Oh, the, oh, nice, the arms are nice and long. That looks like it's gonna fit him pretty well. Oh, I'm so excited about that. So there's the ones with the acorns, which is really cute. And then baby boy can wear these as well. That is so precious, I love these. So there's that one, and then this one is like some sort of like twig type thing. So that's really exciting. So glad those are gonna fit. And then I got something from the new baby. Another little sleeper. And this is a newborn as well. I feel like these look kind of big. So that's why I didn't get zero to three. Cause I was like, these look kind of big. Um, and also has the fold over cuffs. So another little one to add to our collection, which I'm really excited about. So slowly, I'm just gonna start buying those anytime I'm in Target. I'll pick one up, cause they are like 13 bucks. But I feel like they're so worth it. They're so high quality. Okay, the last thing I got was just some makeup primer. This is my favorite one. It's not toxin free, <laughs> but it's it works really well. And I like the dewy look that it gives off. So, and it's pretty cheap. I think it's like four bucks. So that is all we got at Target today. And then, of course, Airman's Attic was free. So, 
And then I got some free birthday coffee, which was fun. So I'm gonna let him finish eating, change his diaper, get him ready for his nap. And then I need to call the dentist to make a dental appointment because my wisdom tooth is coming in and it's bothering me. It's like, it's not painful, but I know it's there. And my other one came in and it has plenty of room and so it's totally fine. Um, but I'm pregnant and so they can't really do anything. I just want to go in for a checkup because I the last time I went to the dentist was for a filling and that was the first time I had been in like three years. I don't know why. I just I cannot stand going to the dentist. It terrifies me. I've had some trauma with getting a tooth pulled there and then having dry socket and and so going to the dentist is just like my last thing I want to do. Um, I joke with my friends. I'm like, you know, <laughs> I'd rather have a baby. I'd rather go through natural childbirth and have to go and have things done to my teeth. Even when I was getting the filling done, I could not stand it. They numbed me, but I could still feel everything and I hated it. So anyway, uh, I need to call and get a checkup in because I haven't had a checkup or a cleaning in who knows how long. <laughs> I'm just not big into going to the dentist. We, I take really good care of my teeth, um, but I just... Like I brush my teeth morning, and night, I floss, I mouthwash, like all the things. And so I've never really had a lot of problems. And so I just like, you know, whatever. But I can feel this wisdom tooth coming in and I'm just like, oh. so I'm nervous. I was going to get it pulled after I had Noble, but then it just wasn't like a priority. And then I'd have to like pump and dump kind of thing. And I was just like, I don't really want to do that. And so, um, and then I got pregnant. And now here I am again. And so I'm like, okay, after this baby's born, I'm gonna have to go get it pulled. And just like build a stash up a little bit of milk and then pump and dump. So it's kind of my goal <laughs> to have them look at this. So I need to do that pretty soon. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling right here and uh, get him ready. Oh, and I got my hair cut. My friend cut my hair. So I really like it. It looks really good. It's so fresh. I feel like I can just fix my hair and leave it down. And I like it down. Because for a while I was just curling it because you could see all the dead ends or I'd put it up because you could see the dead ends and I just hated that look. And so I'm so glad it's cut. So my friend Brett did such a good job. Such a good job. Um, I haven't had it like dyed or anything. This is just like from when I had highlights back in May. And they just look really good. My natural hair color is like right up here. <laughs> my hair is like really a dirty blonde but... Yeah, okay, enough rambling, Ellie. <laughs> I'll pick you guys back up soon. That way I can put my bouquets together and you guys can do that with me and drink my coffee and maybe put some laundry in. So Taylor's gonna be off pretty soon, which I'm excited about. So see you soon. Okay guys, Noble is down for a nap and I'm just chilling out on our couch. And it's currently almost one so my husband will be home in like two hours I just made I've accomplished everything on my to-do list today y'all and I know you guys are like it's your birthday you shouldn't have a to-do list <laughs> but I like to get stuff done whenever my husband's at work uh, just to kind of like fill the day a little bit when you're a stay-at-home mom you kind of have to find things to do so you don't get too bored and just feel a little <laughs> little uh, locked inside your house a little bit especially when it's cold outside I know a lot of you guys can probably relate to that, but um, just made my dental appointment because I need to do that today. I got that done. I feel like such an adult whenever I make appointments. I'm just like, wow, I'm adulting, but I've been an adult for like five years. How old am I? 23 today. Let's see, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Is 18 an adult? I think it is. Six years. <laughs> I've been making appointments for myself so I made my dental appointment and thankfully that's gonna be this Friday okay guys I'm getting ready to go ahead and distribute these flowers so I have this little jar I have another one I need to get out of the dishwasher that's clean this little pitcher and then this one I think I'm just gonna take out the ones that look a little dead like that one and then just kind of distribute and then put these throughout the house because they're so pretty. So I'm gonna set you guys up and see if this works.
Are you opening your birthday present early? <laughs> mm -hmm. Here, let's move it over here. Who's this from? This is from Pop Up and Susie. He's already started opening it, y'all. I just put it on the floor for him to play with because it had the bow on it. And he's like already figured out how to open the present. Can you move out of the way? His birthday isn't for like a couple more days. So I guess it's okay. Like this. Good job. Good job. Here, mommy, I'll take the ribbon off for you. So that way you can open it. Like this, look. Good job. What's in there? <gasps> what is that? Okay, y'all, I finally finished them. This is what they look like. I think they look so cute. Just did a couple. I did three roses per little tiny vase, and then two snapdragons, and then put a little bit of eucalyptus on the sides of each one, just to give it a little extra. And then this one I think is super cute. I freshened up the roses, took out the dead ones, added the last two peach roses, and then added the majority of the eucalyptus greenery in and I think they look so pretty so now I need to like distribute these <laughs> throughout the house and I think I'm gonna put one of these over here by my coffee pot I'm gonna be so cute and this is my new mug I got at anthropology for my birthday so I've yet to make coffee with it but pop that there and then sometimes I like to put one up here but yeah so I think these are Super cute. I think this one's just gonna be on the center of the dining room table and then one of these will go upstairs. So I like that one you see, be right there. So, so pretty y'all.